so today I will be recording my monthly favorites for the month of May. I have five makeup items and then I have four skincare items. So if you want to see what my favorites are for the month of May, just keep on watching. So I'm going to be starting off with the five makeup items that I do have. Um, and I'll try and go in order of how I put them on. So my first one is going to be the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, the pore minimizing one. Um, at first I didn't like this one when I first got it because I thought it was too thick. But now that I'm getting a little oily, as you can see in my T-zone, I do like it. It does, you know, hold my oil in for some time, even though I do still get oily a little bit but that's kind of inevitable so I do like this one it is comparable to the benefit professional it's just a bit more intense than that one and I would say when you put this one on don't put it on right after your moisturizer just wait a little bit and then put it on but kind of push it into your skin because if you rub it in circles it's going to start to crumble with your moisturizer and then it's just a big mess then we try to put her foundation on it's gonna crumble so yeah that's the tip i would have for putting um this one on and i'll link everything and the prices below so my next favorite is going to be my nars all day luminous weightless foundation in the color medium dark 2 tahoe um I used this foundation in my last tutorial, the on the go tutorial. So you see, you guys have seen me with it on. I have it on right now. But this one, I don't know. It, I feel like it's comparable to my MAC Studio Fix, but that's just me because I feel like they both give me, I don't know medium to full coverage but I don't have like any dark spots or anything to cover so it's pretty easy for me to get coverage out of the foundation but with this one um you're supposed to put it on with your fingers that's how it was formulated but I use a beauty blender and it still comes out just as nice sometimes if I feel like getting my hands dirty I will use a beauty blender I mean my fingers but usually I don't um I don't know it is pretty weightless but I mean after when I, if I wear it to work I'm working all day so I can kind of feel it on my skin after a while but that's with every foundation for me so if you have not tried this one I would recommend that you go ahead and try it it's really good it's so pretty and luminous and natural it's just it's a good summertime foundation and my next one is going to be my Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer in the color Tan. And I just use this to brighten up my face just under my eyes. So I do it in like a upside down, well, three dots, but I try to blend it out in an upside down triangle all the way out to my hair to just give me that Kim Kardashian kind of bright look, but not that light just a little bit lighter than my um skin tone and then with that one it does make my natural contour come out um so then i don't have to contour which is just even better for me so that i would recommend that you go get this one it is a it does have the maracuja oil in it so it is a bit when you put it on it is dewy but you can always matte it out with the setting powder, like a banana powder or anything like that. And then my last favorite for my makeup items is going to be the infamous Kat Von D Lip Stain. Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Lolita. Um, as you know, if you are into makeup, this is very, 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 very hard to get your hands on. I think they just um, restocked it on Sephora, but I'm pretty sure it's gone by now because I was like over the weekend. But this one is a really nice mauve color. Let me go ahead and swatch it. It's like a, yeah, a brown mauve color. And what I like about it is that it starts... 
What I like about it is that it starts off with like a wet consistency so it's easier to blend with your liner if you do like to wear it with a liner. It's easy to blend um, and you can build it so you just let it dry and then put another layer on. I usually wear about three layers of that so I you know apply it three times and I wear it with my Sephora Nano Lip Liner in Bordeaux, Bordeaux something, Beau Bordeaux or Bordeaux Beau, something like that, but it's really pretty, and you can darken it with, I just use a liner that's darker than this, so, I love this, and then, I said that was the last one, but I forgot I have one more lipstick for you guys, and it is a MAC lipstick, I have it on right now, and it is in the color lady danger and it does have a matte finish um i just recently wore this lipstick to church and i got a lot of compliments on it but before i wore it when i was at home my, um my mom came home and i'm like is this too much for church and she's like no it's so pretty so i'm like okay so anyways i wore it to church um on here i don't know it's coming out like red more like ruby woo-ish but still orange but in person it looks totally different it's very bright but it's not too bright it's bright but subtle it's a subtle bright if that makes any sense so yeah and i usually don't wear colors like this but since it's summertime i figure i might as well go ahead and start wearing the brighter colors so i really like that one and i have it on right now so now I'm going to move on to my skincare favorites and I have four of those. So let me go ahead and get those for you guys and I'll do them in the order that I would put them on I guess. So the first one that's my favorite is the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Toilets. It's just the original ones in the blue packaging. Um... I don't know they're just really good makeup wipes um they take off your they why i love them is that they take off my mascara really good um and they take off my matte lipsticks so good that i don't have to like you know freaking scrub my lips raw to get it off so i really love these um Actually, I love the ones that are the nighttime ones. They come in the purple, purple packaging, and I think they have, like, um, some calming lavender in it. I really love those, but I get mine from Costco, so I buy them in a pack. You get, like, four packs for $10. Um, so, yeah, that's why I have these. I still love these, but I love the purple ones, too. So, yeah, those are my favorite makeup wipes. And then let's do, I'll do my other, you know, makeup remover. This is the Milk Oil Conditioning Cleanser. Yeah, Conditioning Cleanser by First Aid Beauty. Um, with this one, you can use it to take off your makeup. But after you're done taking off your makeup, you don't have to, like, wash your face because it is a cleanser also. But I double wash so it doesn't matter but I really like this one because it takes off my mascara again really good and it also takes off my lipstick really good um to me it does leave my face a little oily that's why I go ahead and wash my face afterwards but if I've had like a long night or I went out and I don't you know feel like you know doing makeup wipes and then washing my face and doing all that I'll just use this as my makeup remover and my cleanser so again this one is a really good one to take off your makeup and to clean it's a two-in-one so it's a makeup remover and a cleanser and i highly recommend it and it is made for sensitive skin so if you do have sensitive skin i will go ahead and go to sephora and at least get a sample of it and try it i promise you'll love it and then my next two are going to be moisturizers so I have the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Moisturizer and this is the one for regular skin. There's one for I think extra dry skin and I can show you guys what it looks like inside. It's just like a blue, well as you can see it like moves around. 
Um, it's just like a blue gel, but I was looking for a moisturizer that I can use in the day right before my makeup that, you know, wouldn't make my makeup crumble because sometimes cream moisturizers can do that to your, well, do it to my skin. So I wanted something that absorbed really fast and this is so good and it smells like, I don't know, it smells like... I don't know kind of smells like something from Bath and Body Works like sea breeze that's what it reminds me of but then it kind of smells like washing detergent kind of like you wash I don't know I don't know it smells hella bomb though so that's good I always love something that smells good um yeah, so I would recommend this as a daytime moisturizer just because it does soak into your skin really quick and you can go ahead and put on your makeup. And a little bit of this goes a long way. I just dip my hands in it and like one like little dip, not like, you know, crazy, but like one little dip and all over my face and I'm good to go. So the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Moisturizer. And for my nighttime moisturizer I have the ultra repair hydra hydra firm sleeping cream by first aid beauty so I had two Neutrogena and two first aid beauty they're just so good oh my god so this one says you just apply nightly to clean dry skin maybe use the loner over your favorite serum it helps hydrate firm and smooth um and I'll show you guys what it looks like. But it's more of like a thicker consistency than the Neutrogena one. But it's not too thick. I don't know. But it's really good as a nighttime moisturizer, I think. And it does have that firming, you know, quality to it. I personally, I don't know if it's been firming my skin because I don't... Um, I haven't experienced any, you know, wrinkles or anything like that or like feel like my skin is like pulling down or whatever you want to call it. I haven't experienced that yet. Okay, yet. Hopefully no time soon. But I haven't experienced that, but I do just like it as a nightly um moisturizer and then when I wake up my skin looks so good and it's so hydrated and even though I do have oily skin I do so you can see the oiliness right there that highlight baby that highlight even though i do have oily skin i do like to use you know moisturizers you know because you don't want your skin to be dry and if you do have oily skin or combination skin you still have to moisturize just because if you don't, your skin is going to start to create more oil and more oil and you're just going to be even more oily. So I would recommend if you have combination skin or oily skin to go ahead and get these two moisturizers. They are great. Um, yeah. So those are my monthly favorites for the month of May. If you have any monthly favorites that you would like for me to try, just go ahead and leave them in the comments below. This bun is doing all kind of tricks. I try to, it's just leaning. I'm just, you know, over it. But yeah, anyways, those are my monthly favorites. If you like this video, do not forget to put the thumbs up and don't forget to comment comment subscribe and share my videos and i will be back with you guys next week with a new video okay bye